Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. It's finally a beautiful day. And today we are going to Minnesota. Uh, about 320, 30 miles, something like that. Gotta go coal part up there, pick up a car. Picked up a few more things from my buddy's shop. And I just remembered that uh, from last year, I have a condenser that's leaking Freon, so today is going to be a hot day. Uh, I'm going to just run home, grab a couple of bottles of Freon, put it in, and uh, then whenever I get time, I got to pull this condenser and replace it. So let's just go back home quick. Got my AC all charged up. We're good to go. Took a couple little bottles, cans I should say. Took a couple little cans to fill it up. Now it's good. I'm glad I remember that because it's gonna get hot today and having leather seats and all that doesn't help. So um, we get to go. Made a couple sandwiches <laughs> quick. So I don't have to stop, but I have to stop, get some fuel anyways grab a drink and go uh, went to bed at 4 o'clock this morning got back from Chicago from trucking uh, well I had after I parked my semi I had to stop at my buddy's house grabbed his trailer and then uh, went to bed around 4 woke up at 6 this morning tired as hell I have a long day today my buddy Elvier couldn't come even though he wanted to it's just there's no way we can get back by 5 p.m. and he works third shift so he had to be home by 5 p.m. so I told him there's no way I, we can be back by 5 so he stayed behind just me today and it's gonna be fun drive not surprise this gas station doesn't have E85 even though you don't get the best Take anything. Just truck, whatever you put in, you'll take it. Fill it up. Got something to drink. Keep going. Corrigal. Corrigible. Corrigible. Can you pronounce that? Quick Star is actually pretty cool. They have good food and everything else you need. Welcome to Matador's Must See America. I'm about to get hit by some rain. Yeah, buddy. Look at these uh, army hammers, hammers, hammers. That's pretty cool. Cool truck pulling it too. Very nice. To uh, oh, is that stretched out? No, it's not. Pretty cool truck, if you ask me. Somebody that takes care of the truck and loves it. Keep on trucking, baby! Eh, yeah, what do you know? I am just this lucky, you know? Always going places when it's raining doesn't matter it could be 80 degrees outside but the second I step my foot in a truck car going to junkyard or a coal part it's gonna rain man this rain picked up the wind picked up <laughs> my fuel uh, economy went down I'm at 15 miles per gallon uh, pulling an empty trailer, wind picked up horribly, rain, I still have 3 hours to go, hopefully it doesn't rain when I get up there, uh, because it's not going to be fun, 
uh, hooking up, putting a car in the trailer. This wind is brutal. Then my bed cover is jumping up. Got one of those uh, leather bed covers. Alright, so we're about uh, two miles away. We're in the middle of nowhere. And there's this co part. This is the same place where I picked up my Hayabusa. Uh, pretty nice people up here, actually. Uh, that's what you expect from smaller town, to be honest. Um, always people from smaller town, for some reason, are just nicer. <laughs> that's what I noticed. These people have been nice to me, so I don't know. Maybe this time will be different, but not sure what's going on. Oh, yeah, people fishing here. This is a really nice spot. Too bad I don't know anything about fishing. I love going, but I don't know anything about fishing. Uh, first thing I gotta do is go check in, show them my ID, the card that I paid the card with, then pull up in the back, and they usually just bring the car out, and then I gotta load it myself. I got a winch in this trailer and all, so it shouldn't be a problem. So I asked them if I could go inside and record some but uh, they're a little bit strict about that so the only thing we're gonna see is my car which I think this guy just pulled out and there it is so there's my Honda He's just gonna load it up. Uh, nice of him, he loaded it up for me. It is a six-speed transmission. As I see, it's, this one is actually really nice. That one over there is worn out pretty, pretty good. So let's pop the hood and see what we got. And gotta pop the trunk, pop the hood, the V deck. is the battery still here Let's see if we can get this thing to start all right moment of truth see if this thing will actually start I have to climb through the passenger seat all right. wow that thing runs there's no way in hell that this car, this engine has 240,000 miles. That sounds really good. It's probably been replaced. Sounds really good. <laughs> wow. Probably drive it around. Actually, for the money I paid for the car, it's pretty good. Starts first try, runs really good. Not sure if the actual mileage of the car is 240,000 miles, but it's Honda, you never know. So, yeah, pretty cool. I can still 
sell a lot of parts from this thing get some money back you know but yeah they won't let me go in there and record I'm kind of picky about that but they have a lot of cars there's all kind of cool things here from bikes snowmobiles jet skis you name it they got it got the Honda all uh, tied up I think uh, we should be good started it up right away jumped it even has a battery and um, no problem sounds so healthy I don't know if that engine actually has 240,000 miles or not but it sounds really healthy so we'll see I'm gonna stop a few times recheck everything up and uh, drive back home I'm gonna try to uh, swap the whole thing including the ECU and wiring harness and whatnot uh, it's got the drive-by wire so we'll see if I can integrate that into a Yugo uh, gas pedal if not then I'll just swap the throttle body and then that means I have to get different ECU and different wiring harness from Acura RSX Type S or whatever but that's it uh, I'll stop by a few times recheck my uh, straps and all and see what happens so far it's been going good no problems <clears throat> stopped a couple times recheck the straps everything's good and then I hit this freaking uh, rush hour in Minneapolis area so yeah got three and a half hours to go I'm gonna pull the car off the trailer probably take it for a spin see if I can get that second gear to screech squeal actually I'm wondering what kind of condition that transmission is if it's uh, grinding going to gears or not I'm just curious how that car drives and how it pulls it looks like <clears throat> Just before this accident, they uh, changed the oil and changed the new front brakes. So that's a good sign, which means the car was still driving. Uh, no problems, I'm guessing, with the engine because the way it starts and runs so smooth. So just that accident, I'm sure they totaled it because being older car and with so many high miles, they just insurance just totaled it. So why you end up at the cool part two and a half hours to go man this no sleep two hours sleep is catching up to me exhausted figure I stop by here check out the car see if everything is tight still get a easy DVD stress <laughs> But I got the big ones, one on each end. Everything seems to be tight. There's still some good parts in this car, actually. Uh, well, shit. Even the rear bumper is cracked, so never mind. Uh, yeah, this one might. That's it. Good. I don't know if this is OEM headlight or not, but maybe it's good. It is good. Fender, a little bit. Yeah, there's some good stuff. I wish the I wish the driver's seat is as nice as the passenger because I kind of like these seats. Even though I have that uh, Toyota Celica seats, but I kind of like these too. Yep, it's got the six-speed transmission. That's good. Uh, there's some. Oh, is that a remote start? Oh, that's alarm. So, yeah, just trying to take a little break. <sighs> Exhausted. I'm gonna try to unload this car tonight. Gotta take the trailer back. And I'm going to take this car for a spin. 
Let's see how she rips. We finally made it. Ah, uh, and it's raining. Now I have to go unload this car in the rain. It's not too bad, but still, it's raining. I was gonna go take it off, go take this car for a spin test drive, but not tonight. I'm just tired and I have to drive 20 minutes to take this trailer back to my buddy's shop. And uh, so just gonna unload it now, park it, take the trailer, go home, get some good night of sleep. Got the car unloaded, uh, heading to drop off this trailer to my buddy's shop. And uh, I gotta say, I'm surprised how well that engine and how nice that transmission shift, even though I did first, second, third, just to the parking lot and it shifts like a butter. I don't know how nice it's gonna shift um, at high RPM shifting which I'll probably come back tomorrow, put some air in the tires because one of them is really low and I'm gonna take it for a spin and uh, see how well that transmission shifts. But that engine sounds amazing. So I don't know if that person drove that car on the highway or what, but uh, it looks really clean for 240,000 miles. Know, I'll see underneath and I'll probably cut off a catalyst converter tomorrow so I can sell it <laughs> before it gets stolen uh, anyways that's it for this video please if you like my work if you like this video uh, hit that subscribe and that like button share leave a comment you know if you got something to say leave a comment but uh, this will be a uh, fun project hopefully that engine fits in the Yugo if it does uh, I think I think it will because I did cut a lot of things around that engine base so this should fit for now I might even just run it the way it is uh, I'll check it over I'll check the compression if everything good might put new water pump on and call it good you know anyways that's it for this video peace out till next time